Hello everybody, welcome back to Metal Tiger Gaming. I'm your host, uh, Metal Tiger. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, but I figured this would be a good time to jump back in. I will do a later video uh, recording why it's been kind of a long time since my hiatus. It's not a fun story, but I'll still share it with you guys a little bit about what was going on. I wanted to kind of touch base today about the Nintendo Direct. Oh my lord, there was a lot to kind of go over on this. Uh, 36 plus games that are kind of being released. Uh, there's a little bit of a caveat on that, and I'll go over that here in a minute. Um, so they did things a little differently this time. So they did uh, some of the new releases that are coming out, some dates they didn't really have. They kind of just gave us like a generic spring or summer of 2023 to kind of hope to kind of keep us on the edge of our seats. It's a Nintendo, not really surprised, one of the big powerhouses of the gaming industry. So we'll find out what they have going on for us later. Um, I will start with, I think, the caveat piece of this. So there's a lot of this stuff that's specifically only going to be for Nintendo Online or Nintendo Expansion Pass. Uh, a lot of this stuff is already free if you have the Expansion Pass. Um, specifically, I'm talking about the fact that they are actually bringing a lot of the original Game Boy, not the Game Boy Color, uh, but the original Game Boy games to Nintendo Switch Online, like they did with the Nintendo 64 and the NES, the classics. Um, also, along with the Game Boy Advance, I did write down the titles that they brought down, so I'll kind of share with you the titles they're bringing. Uh, Super Mario 2, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, Gargoyle's Quest, Game & Watch Gallery 3, which what I'm understanding is supposed to be a collection of Game & Watch games. Never really played it myself, but if you're a fan, it's coming. Um, Alone in the Dark, Dark Nightmare, Metroid 2, uh, Return of Samus, which I was pretty excited about. Uh, there's actually another Metroid title, which we'll talk about later. Um, kind of frustrating for that for me, and I'll explain why, but uh, funny that they're going to bring that back. Um, Wario Land 3, Kirby's Dream Land, the original. I know that I think they just remade that. Super Mario Advance 4, uh, WarioWare Inc. Uh, Curry Curry Kareen. I don't know what that game is, uh, but it's going to be there. Uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit, the original uh, Mario Kart made for mobile handhelds. Uh, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga and Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. So those are going to be the games that are going to be coming. Uh, those are going to be available today, I believe, for the Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance adaptations. Now, that being said, those are all going to be online only. So if, you wanna, if you're like me, you want your physical copies, you're not going to be able to get it, um, unfortunately. But it's going to be there for you if that's an option that you want to take. Um, and then I'm kind of just kind of go over everything they kind of talked about today. Um, a little bit about release dates. Um, so I'm kind of kind of just list them. Um, they have Pikmin 4 coming out 721 of this year. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, the DLC is coming uh, the 15th of this month. And then there's supposed to be another part uh, later this year. They didn't really say when it's supposed to be. But so if you're a Xenoblade player, DLC is coming out the 15th this month. And there's going to be a part four for the DLC later. Uh, this is going to be Samba de Amigo, uh, Party Central, coming out in the summer of 2023. Unknown, but I'm assuming it's a Q2 type game. Um, so that's more of like a Dance Dance Revolution, um, Just Dance type game. It's a, a rhythm game. So if that's something that you want to do, that's where that's at. Fashion Dreamer, uh, coming out in 2023. They didn't really tell when or even give us a quarter of when it's supposed to be coming out. Uh, Dead Cell, Return to Castlevania, coming out March 6th, 23. Uh, pretty hyped about that one. Um, I'll talk about that here at the end, but that's a Castlevania collections game. Uh, Tron Identity coming out in April of 23. Uh, Ghost Trick Phantom Detective coming out in summer of 23. Deca Police coming out in 2023 at some point. Don't really know, but given Nintendo's lack of knowledge about when these things come out, usually we didn't expect it to come out in the fall or the uh winter of the year so that's when i would expect those uh bayonetta origins uh Cerzeza and the last demon coming out march uh 17th pretty hyped about that one as well splatoon 3 expansion pass coming out in spring of 23 uh destiny illusion island coming out 728 fire emblem engage dlc coming out today end of day pretty excited about that uh harmony fall of reverie coming out in june of 23 octopath traveler 2 which was a game that i have always wanted to try never did but that's coming out on the 24th of february uh we love katamari 
Reroll, I think that's a remake. I think a lot of people were into that one. It's where you get into a bunch of objects, you roll around, and then all of a sudden you're a giant blob or something. Not my cup of tea. Could be yours. Not really sure. Um, but that is coming out 6-2 uh, of 23. Sea of Stars coming out on August uh, 28th. Uh, Omega Strikers coming out April 27th. Um, Etrian Odyssey Origins Collection coming out uh, June 1st. Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp coming out April 21st. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe coming out the 24th of February. So that I thought was the remake, but the remake was not this one. So this one apparently is following a side character's return to their power. So if you're big into Kirby, it's coming out this year. Um, let's see here. Uh, so this is one of the ones that I was a little upset about personally, but Metroid Prime Remastered coming out on the 22nd of this month. The primary reason why I'm personally a little upset about this is I literally just bought Metroid Prime on the GameCube. So now it's coming out remastered. I'll just have to get both. Uh, Master Detectives Archive Rain Code coming out June 30th. Bait and Kaidos 1 and 2 Remake coming out in the summer of 23. That was originally on the Game Boy. Uh, sorry, the GameCube, if you're not familiar with that. Fantasy Life, The Girl Who Steals Time, 2023. It looked like a life simulator. Not really my cup of tea. Um, Professor Layton in the World of Steam. No idea when that's supposed to come out. It literally had about maybe 30 to 40 seconds of gameplay of this dude just walking around with a hat. Showed a smile. Boom. And then it was over. Didn't really do a lot. Um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC coming out. Spring of 23. If you're a big uh, Mario Kart fan, there's a lot of DLC coming your way. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and there was a bunch at the end they kind of just threw in there. They were just like, here you go, uh, rapid fire. So I'm going to kind of give you what I was able to get in the 30 seconds that they had some of these on there. Minecraft Legends, Blanc, um, Mega Man Legends Collection, which if you know anything about Mega Man, there's like 15 to 20 of those games. So the fact that they're getting a Master's Collection, I'm not entirely sure what all is in it. But personally, I will be purchasing it. Um, have a Nice Death, uh E Baseball, Disney Dreamlight Park, Tales and Symphia, and then the the big banger at the very end that they kind of left for everybody involved is the new Legend of Zelda coming out in May, May 12th specifically, reportedly, unless there's going to be delays, but I do believe this is what everybody thought was supposed to be Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, but indeed it is the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, which of course I will be picking up myself. Personally, I was kind of hoping for some Pokemon information, but then again, um, the Pokemon Day is going to be February 27th, so I'm assuming if there's going to be DLC, new games, updates, uh, that's probably going to be happening then, not necessarily now. However, my personal picks for this is going to be Dead Cells Return to Castlevania. Um, I've been a Castlevania fan for a long time, so... It's also hard to collect those games, I think, just due to the scarcity and just the wide variety of consoles those things are on. So anytime a collector's edition comes out with more than one game on it, I'm usually picking it up simply to have those games in my collections. So I'm picking that one up. Never really played Bayonetta, uh, but I do like Origin games. I like the art style of it, so I'm probably going to pick that up. Uh, huge, huge fan of Fire Emblem, and I love the new Engage game. That game is fantastic, in my opinion. Fix a lot of bugs from the previous uh, games. I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, Three Houses was the best one. That's your opinion, and you're entitled to it. I'm not saying that Three Houses is bad. I'm just saying that I like a lot of what Engage has to offer. Uh, the only thing that I didn't necessarily like about Engage is they let you get the DLC, and then you got Tiki, and that was it. Like, there wasn't really a lot more. So, hopefully, they're supposed to have more here. And they even teased something called a Fell Xenolog. So, I'm not really sure what that's going to look like. But that was also in there. However, the new DLC package for Fire Emblem Engage should be available today, according to the Direct. Um, and then the last couple games I'm very excited about. Obviously, I'm getting Metroid Prime Remastered. Love Metroid. Uh, like I said, just bought Metroid Prime on the GameCube originally. Uh like literally yesterday, maybe day before. I can't really quite remember, but I did pick it up recently. And then obviously I'm going to be picking up Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, Legend of Zelda, fantastic franchise by Nintendo. One of the original IPs by them. 
Um, what do you guys think? What are you guys excited about? Um, I'm very excited about a lot of these games. And again, video gaming is one of my favorite pastimes. So let me know in the comments what you guys are kind of excited about, what you guys disagree with, um, what you guys are hoping to look forward to, you know, in the coming year. Um, I know a lot of these games are predetermined to come out later in the year. Uh, they don't really give us quarters or even telling us when they come out. Um, so I'm kind of excited to kind of see how these things pan out with sometimes you know uh, they even had the big disclaimer with covid being a big factor for how these things kind of come out i'm only putting that in quotations because regardless of what the reason is for these delays they end up happening so a lot of these are going to be like take these with a grain of salt you know what i mean like these aren't going to be set in stone dates for when they come out so yeah let me know what you guys are excited about and i'll see you guys next time